Hello and welcome. Today I just want to do a, a quick video on a few days ago I did a live stream, an impromptu live stream and I had loads of fun and those people joined in and it was a good evening but I did have a problem with my radio and um, it was cutting out. So the issue I was having, I, I run a Sun SDR Pro 2 SDR radio and that is connected to a Zegu XPA 125B. It's a 100 watt amp and I put about 4 or 5 watts out of the Sun SDR into the amp. <clears throat> and what's happening is the amp was cutting out and, and the radio was resetting so that the software would stop. And this happened quite a few times. And the thing the the frustrating thing was on the day was this this never used to happen it's only crept in over the past nine ten months because i haven't really played radio that much from home during that ten months something had changed and the radio and the amp started to cut out so the day after the live <clears throat> stream i decided i need to sort this out because i, I can't just operate a radio on just five watts five watts i could just barely get the radio working the sdr radio and with no amp on and i was i could run qrp but it never used to be that way <clears throat> so i decided i need to just problem solve this i've done previous videos on rf in this radio room where i've tried to tackle rf getting into some of the audio equipment because i share this the same room with my music side of things um the radio there's a lot of gear in here um, mixing desks it's also my home office space as well so i tend to do a lot of home office stuff here as well so i've got a mixture of um little studio work um a little bit of radio and also office stuff so there's a lot of equipment in here that can pick up rf so i've done a previous couple of videos maybe where I've gone around and I've just put ferrites on as many things as I can such as the um, I've got a Behringer uh, desk here I've got a Tapco desk over there I've got microphones sound cards so everything had ferrites on but I also added common mode chokes onto the feed line <clears throat> and that all of that combined reduced the amount of uh, the effects of RF and also reduce, reduce some of the RF, some of the, the common mode currents coming back down the feed line. Um, so it helped a little bit. But then last week when I did the live stream, it is almost like, like it all had returned. And then some, because it was tripping out, the, <clears throat> tripping out the PSU I've got. So I, and by process of elimination, I actually found out what the issue was if i if i describe the if i describe the setup i've got at home and then i'll talk you through some of the steps i, I, I took to solve the issue and hopefully that'll that'll help others is the aim of this really so <clears throat> on this handy diagram uh, i'm currently in the radio room and down the length of the house i've got the feed line the coax which runs to a vertical antenna and the vertical antenna is pretty much next to the house and it's a compromise with <clears throat> you know we've got a small back garden i had to find somewhere that didn't stick out too much it's a compromise with the wife and and just being a a decent neighbor i try uh, you know i've tried to tuck the antenna out of the way a little bit and that it the, the proximity to the house means that <clears throat> Um, there's a risk of some of the RF coming down some of the electrical cables so that's part of the the compromise that I, I have here with the, the antenna at the base of the antenna I've got an SGC 237 antenna tuner um, and connected to that I have a bunch of radials uh, I've got coax that runs down the side of the house <clears throat> and I've got a 12 volt unshielded cable about 10 meters of it as well funny enough uh, and on the vertical uh, wire for the antenna it's about 10 point something meters of wire so i think you sort of get 
I think you can work out where I'm going with some of this now. So the other day I was thinking, what have I changed in the past 10 months? Uh, is it the radials that have gone rusty? So I cleaned off the, the connected to the radial plate, made sure that still had a good connection. I stuck on a bunch of more radials, just threw loads of radials around the garden. That still didn't solve the problems. So I thought, OK, it's not the radials that have changed in the past 10 months. What else could have changed in the past 10 months? I used to run two uh, power, uh, PSUs in, in this room. One I used to run one set of radios, radios, and the other ran another set of radios. And the the 12 volts that the SGC tuner needed used to run on a separate power supply. And then the rest of this uh, HF gear used to run on the other power supply. And that's what I changed. I'd actually, I was running all of it from the same PSU. So my thinking was and is, and it seems to it seems to work okay now, is that the 12 volt unshielded cable running next to the coax, <clears throat> which is about 10 meters cable, is part of the antenna or resonating to some degree and bringing loads of nasties into the power supply. So by separating the this 12 volt supply onto its own supply, and also uh, putting their ferrite just outside the wall here with about 10 or 12 turns on the on the core uh, has completely solved the problem so now i can run 100 watts very easily on the sdr into the xpa zegu amplifier so it looks as if <clears throat> having unshielded cables of any type, I guess, if you're just running a wire for your outdoor LED lights and it happens to be about a certain wavelength or certain part, you know, certain fraction of a wavelength, I think could be an issue that people are having as well. So hopefully that's useful. Uh, please uh, drop some notes in the comments uh, <clears throat> if you've solved similar problems at home, because I think just by sharing some of the ideas and some of the learning helps me as well, but it helps other people on the channel. So uh, thank you for watching. Short video, but hopefully a useful one. Uh, hopefully see you on the next live stream. It's running about 100 watts. Uh, bye bye for now.